Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Verified Investing Office here. Um, I wanted to kind of go over the setup that I use for trading because, again, there's things that you have to be aware of when you're looking to drop to buy a trading setup computer. And so I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I use, what I generally recommend so that you guys can be on the cutting edge of being able to trade properly with all the keys that I have. All right. So, so you guys can see here, I'm running eight monitors. Um, now, again, the key here is I'm going to tell you what my system is, and then I'll go into some details. So number one, it's an AMD Threadripper 32 core, uh, dual RTX 2080 Super NVIDIA graphics cards, as well as 64 gigabyte in RAM. 2 terabit Samsung uh, SSD and running eight monitors. So that's, again, a huge system, a very expensive system. I don't necessarily think all traders need it. One of the reasons why I need so many screens is that I run not only my own trading platforms, but also I run the live Apex Live Day Trading Room. And so I have to have so many different screens, including my own personal accounts, multiple accounts, in fact, that I'm trading on a daily basis. So that's why I need to see so much information. As you guys can see, a majority of it is charts, and then I have other screens that show me the key kind of accounts that I'm trading or the Apex Live Day Trading Room. All right, so again, just to kind of think about it here, if you're someone at home who's trading, you probably just need a quality computer. In general, I would recommend one that you can hook up as many monitors to, so that's your graphics card, right? And so if you want four monitors, then I think you need, you need a top-end um, card that allows for that. Most computers today, especially gaming computers, will come with at least three hookups, if not four. And again, that's really good enough for most traders. The key is the processor speed, right? You have to be able to run multiple charts that are giving you data in real time. If you are delayed, if you have something slowing down, if you're not able to enter your trade as fast as possible, that's going to cost you money. So again, remember the processor is the key thing and then ultimately being able to hook up as many monitors as you want. All right, so in general, again, think about that in terms of what you're looking to do. Again, this is what I have. And again, for me, it serves my purpose for running the company here at Verified Investing, as well as trading, as well as running the trading room, as well as looking at all the trading view charts that I do. Check this out. I needed a new computer for my personal office. Now, this, isn't ha this doesn't have to be as insane as the computer that I use on the trading floor that runs the, the live trading room, that runs my personal software, my trading platforms, trading view, all that stuff. This is more for just my personal use for trading on my own in my personal office. And so what I have here, guys, is all the components. My my employee here, amazing, Ryan, he worked at Geek Squad for how many years? Nine years. Nine years. So he's built everything. I mean, how many computers have you built, do you think? Probably like a few hundred. So check this out. What he's going to do is he's going to go over all the components. He's building this for me for being a trader. He knows exactly what I need to be able to execute my trades with speed and agility and make sure that I'm at the top of my game for all the things I need. This is probably what I would consider, and you'd say like, an affordable one for most people. It's not the crazy one I have on the yeah. trading floor, but this is a solid build that'll get you everything you need to do, including probably how many monitors do you think you could hook up oh, you here? you do four. So four, um, four monitors with this setup. And what would you, and before you go over all this, what would you say this would run someone to be able to put this together? Uh, you're probably just under $2,000. So under 2000 very affordable when it comes to a trading setup with four monitors, being able to day trade, swing trade, whatever you got. So so Ryan, why don't you tell us what, what we have here? So we went with an AMD Ryzen 9 here. It's the, the older CPU. They have the Ryzen 7000s out, which are great. They're a little bit faster, but for the purposes that this is being used for, it's going to get the job done and then some. Like you can do anything from if you need to create uh, content for all the stuff. Like uh, social media. Social media, all the way to like streaming or if you have to just do trades or anything, it's not going to get slowed down by whatever you throw at it. Beautiful. And then we also have a, a newer graphics card, the 4060 Ti. Can run the four monitors, be very fast. You can run 4K monitors if you want. Uh, and then we're also going with an air cooler um, just to keep everything, you know, nice and cool and stable at that where you're not going to run into any like liquid cooling issues where the pump dies or something happens on that end. It's just 24 7 uptime if you need it. Really fast SSD, two terabytes of storage, Windows 11, and we got 32 gigs of RAM so you can have a bunch of Chrome tabs open. 
and oh, trading okay. platform. So, so I think for me as a trader, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you know a lot about what I do, but like the speed of the system, right? Like if I'm executing trades, I can't have any delay. Yeah. Like I need that thing to be executed immediately so I get the best price for my stock or my crypto, and this will take care of that. Yes, yeah, you'll, you, you get over five gigahertz on this processor. As I said, there are ones that are slightly faster, but it's not we really gonna make a huge difference for this. And I think that's in, I think that's important too, is like you don't have to necessarily go with the best because you're paying so much more and you want to go what's for right to keep it affordable, to keep it within a budget yeah. that you can have at home. Like if you guys are wanting to have your trading systems at home, this will get the job done and then some. No reason to pay an extra 500 or or $1,000 for the top of the line chips at this point or anything else, right? Yeah, you don't need the highest end stuff to get started. And like from the stuff I've learned just working here, it's it's all about the actual like learning the charts. And then having something that's going to be reliable and something that's fast enough. Right. And you think, and you think how long the system, the system will be good for five years, you think? Yeah, I'd say five to seven years. Like sometimes you can get a little bit more. I, I like to upgrade after five years myself. Probably so much new technology by yeah. that point too, right? Yeah, it's a huge leap sometimes, you know, like uh, I think you have a similar computer to what I have at home. Mm -hmm. And just like the leap in technology to the newer versions is a huge jump if you're on that same platform with the Threadripper, like what you have and what I have. Uh, but it's one of those things to make that jump to the next tier. Sometimes it isn't even worth it until, yeah. until it's really needed. Yeah, you got it, and that's and that's a great point. Is you got to balance to get the job done and to be at the top level of trading. This is what will get you there. You don't need to be doing all the virtual reality stuff because honestly, I don't use I don't use any of that stuff at this point. I don't need it at this stage of of trading. And so so again, affordable, solid build, going to last you five years at minimum. Run four monitors. This is what it is. Thank you so much, Ryan, for, for letting us know all the little details here. I hope you guys found this informative if you're looking to do something like this. And again, we hope that, uh, that you guys come back and follow us here at Verified Investing. power doing its post check right now to get to BIOS and we got boot so there you go it's a 5900x now we got it booted up and everything I just got to do some cable management, update the BIOS, install Windows, install some trading platform stuff for Gareth. Uh, I'm going to be running diagnostics on it. I'm really keen on that as like test RAM, although this Corsair RAM is really good. Sometimes you get a bad batch. I've, I've had like eight modules fail recently that were Corsair RAM that it's lifetime warranty. So I just shipped them out to Corsair and they shipped me back two brand new kits, you know, Replaced my 256 gig kit from my uh, charger machine at home. You know, it was, it was painless. Now, uh, I was without it for a while, but I used some temporary RAM in the meantime. And then, uh, yeah, we're good to go here. You know, we don't have a fan in this part here, but we, we might pick up another one eventually. It just, this thing doesn't output much heat in general, and the airflow will be decent. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, that's it for the build video for now. I'm very curious, what type of setups do you guys use out there for trading and investing? In the comments below, make sure to let me know. I love reading the comments, seeing what everyone else is running. Do you have any recommendations for me? Um, but please let us know out there. 
And again, if you're someone who's a sponsor, if you have a company out there that produces um, computers that can be tailored for the trading and investing world, please reach out to us. And I would love to look into having you as a sponsor where we can deliver to our audience, to our trade traders, thousands and thousands of traders, these top-level computers that will fit their needs to help them profit every day.